Hey! Quiet on the set! What? <laughs> oh! No matter who you are, whatever you do, please don't try this at home. Your mother will find you and kill you. I would never do that as a mother. She what on earth? Mean. Yeah. Team Sika. Sika and you shall find a. <laughs> 500 grams. Hmm. I don't know the numbers on those. I just. Hmm. So, so far it's a basic card candy recipe. Boiling, 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 boiling. Coolin', coolin', coolin'. Pour the syrup into some cups. Looks like paper cups. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, okay squirt in some color. Get a new container of color. It's <laughs> a lot of color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Blue. And what? Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. What's that? Roy G. Biv is the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow. No, it wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the blue, I think, or maybe it's the violet. Okay, so it's a silicone mat. Kara uses those for baking. Oh. On. To put it on a silicone hmm. mat, because then you don't have to use a cookie sheet, you know, to put, oh. you know, to grease your cookie sheet. Wondering what that was. Yeah, we have them in our drawer at home. Oh. You know, where you yeah. keep your pizza. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Yep. Your pizza rollout thing. Okay. So so far, it looks like the tie-dyed hard candy that we make. Yeah. It really does, because we use Roy G. Biv also. I they're just having us make watch somebody else's tie-dyed hard candy. <laughs> would he Would he do that? Maybe. I could. Would you waste our time like that? You wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. I might. So he's making it into little colorful discs and tr dropping it into his cornstarch? Well, hockey pucks. Yeah. Is that your prediction? Cornstarch? I'm guessing cornstarch. Okay. And then making it in a donut shape. Hope you all are remembering not to do this at home so your mother doesn't have to end you. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. No, it's I mean, I might be like, no dessert. Right. But, and yeah. you? Mm, yeesh. Okay, so you've got these rings. Maybe they're just actual donuts. Could be a ring game. Ring pop. Ring toss. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was uh, thinking. Toss horseshoe. it over a horseshoe. But they're round. They're not yeah. horseshoe shaped, so that's not going to work out. Okay, so um. coating this stuff, nice stretching it. Because he doesn't have a hook, poor guy. No. He wishes he had a hook, but he doesn't, so he's just using his hands for hooks. Does it look like he could use a hook instead of hands? Yeah, you probably could. Just put probably. it on there and pull it. Put it on there and pull People it. People do have all different methods of pulling yeah. sugar candy. He keeps dipping it in the what we think is cornstarch. Just using what he has. But we've never used cornstarch in... It's sugar. How do you know? <laughs> so, can can't be cornstarch. Mm, it's fine. getting it all over it. <laughs> oh, right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's cornstarch candy. <laughs> okay, so we'll go with smooth sugar. It's weird how it's separating like that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. But each time he does it, the numbers increase. Wow. That's wow. just math. Wow. See how many strands he's got? I think so. I think it's doubling. Yeah. Okay. The next one is 776, I think. Mm. If my math is correct. 778, I mean. And that's how many strands that he has? Though? I guess. I don't know. <gasps> 760, I guess I was right the first time. Wow. <laughs> how many strands of hair does, do people usually have? 11,000. You believe that? The trick to being believable is to say it. <laughs> it sounded very... Yes, you just want to say it very matter-of-factly, and people will believe anything you say. <laughs> I, I did believe you. See? <laughs> so you were lying. Most likely. I mean, I could have been right. I was guessing. Guess okay. lying. I guess I was lying. I said 11,000. Looking it up? No. Yes. You are. He's Googling, he's Googling it. <laughs> I'm not taking a break. Absolutely not. How does this separate? I hope they tell us in this information video. This is spaghetti. It's not. Spaghetti is not that stretchy. I know. I've eaten it. That's how you make more spaghetti. <laughs> See, if you said it very matter-of-factly, I would have believed you. Oh. <laughs> I did. No, How many did you say? 11,000. Yeah, not quite. 100,000. Okay. Well, depends on the person. Hmm. I did get... Yeah, that's <laughs> <true>. <laughs>
I did get scared because at first I thought it said 10,000. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, okay, so you were pretty much right. <laughs> nope, just pulled a number out of thin air. <laughs> thin hair. <laughs> yeah, I totally meant that. <laughs> Put that number out of thin hair. That oh, is thin yeah. hair. Wow, that was good. The bad flavor. Mm, I can't remember. No, I didn't see any flavor. Basically, it's just sweet stuff covered in sugar, according to Steve. Mm -hmm. So it's just corn sweet corn. stuff dipped. Well, he says corn. He says sugar, but it's probably he's probably right. Who would want to eat something? <laughs> Did you see it? that? It was a woodchuck or a gopher. Yeah. What was that all about? I don't know. I saw something quick, but okay. Reason not to try this at home because it's going to make a mess, and your mother will kill you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do our kids ever do anything like that? Well, look mm. at that. This is pretty cool looking stuff. This is very intriguing. What do you like do with try? it? It's like doll hair. Looks like something you would try? Maybe. I'm not going to say no right now. So he's tucking it around some walnuts. I assume those are walnuts. I know my nuts. Those are walnuts. Maybe. I wonder why though. Maybe that's what he had. I guess. Work with the nuts that you have. That's what I do. <laughs> what? I feel like you could put like gummy bears or like yeah, something. Yeah, you probably else in there. could. But he happened to have walnuts on this particular day. It was one of those little dolls that had the hair stands right up. Troll. Troll dolls. Troll dolls. Troll dolls. Yeah, trolls have a lot of meaning. <laughs> it's kind of same hair. It's very cool looking stuff. I mean, it looks like thread. <laughs> I mean, it looks like colorful thread. I lost my bob into my sewing machine the other day. If you find it, give it to me. Okay. It's a very small spool of thread that goes in the underneath of your sewing machine because you have to have two threads when you sew. Oh, I don't know. You don't You don't sew? You need the whole before. thing. I feel like you should have bitten into it so we could see the middle. But at least he's chewing mostly with his mouth closed. That's pretty good. Mostly. <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> That's a pet. Peeve of rice. We don't like to see somebody chewing their food. Their mouth. With their mouth open. Open like, like this. No! <laughs> Go out to the barn. Steve, do you chew with your mouth open? Hope not. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> Hope not. You would have heard by now. <laughs> you would have gotten the memo in the form of a brick to the head. <laughs> I meant that in the nicest way. Right. Remember yes. you, said, you said at the beginning you would never do that. A candy brick? I said it wouldn't kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Harm them, maybe. Maim, possibly. Kind of like cotton candy. It seemed like a lot of work for him to make this little snack. Yeah, it does. Seems like he should share it. It's a lot of sugar and corn syrup, and he's going to like eat all of that? Because I just don't understand. If it's like cotton candy, wouldn't it dissolve right away and walk? Like, the cotton candy that I have ever had, if you put it in water, it just disappears. Yeah. Well, but he didn't put it in water. I know, but that doesn't look like it would to me. Hard to say, because cotton candy is totally whipped. I mean, there's a lot of air in there. I mean, he did aerate this, right. but there's not as much air not. doing it by hand as cotton candy with a machine. They're actually blowing air into it, too, at the same time. So, oh. so the busy retail holiday season starts this quarter. That one. The best time to get prepared for that surge is before it's on your doorstep. Now, I know you don't have a website. Mm, I might. What do you sell? Just uh, some things and stuff. Okay, well, I recommend if you want to sell your things and stuff that you get set up for growth with ShipStation because it sets you up for success by integrating every shopping cart and storefront so your products are easier to find and manage and get into the hands of eager customers. Mm. So what I'm saying is ShipStation takes the stress out of shipping because it works on every platform, Shopify, Amazon, Etsy. All of your shipping is managed from one easy to use dashboard. So you can easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times. So you're getting the most out of every cent. And ShipStation has three different pricing levels. So you only pay for what you need. With ShipStation, you get the same discounted rates as Fortune 500 companies, whether you're sending an armful or a truckful. 98% of businesses that use ShipStation for one year become customers for life. I signed up for a free trial in 2017 and I never looked back. I have been a customer ever since. So ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Hercules and sign up for a free 60 day trial. That's two months of shipping for free. And thank you ShipStation for sponsoring this video. Okay, so what, now for what are some of yours? satisfying conclusion. Um, I'm predicting that it's sweet. 
Um, and you said it was corn. I said it was cornstarch, but now I believe this guy that it's sugar. <laughs> it makes sense because you wouldn't want to be eating cornstarch like yeah, straight so. like this. So hmm. uh, there's no any, prediction here. He talked some Steve? sense into me. Do you have any predictions, Steve? Yeah, the temperature has got to be lower than 310, so it's got to be in a 250, 60 range. So it's not so brittle? Yeah. Because they're not making brittle? Yeah, so it's soft. All right, okay. whenever you guys are ready. All right, now for yeah. the exciting conclusion. Ladies and gents, is 16,000 strands of hand pulled cotton candy. Wow. Wow. You can do this. Can you? Can I? Maybe. We're going to make cotton candy using the hand-pulled noodle technique, also known as dragon fruit. It started in ancient China, and it's just this pulling technique that they do with noodles, but you would do it with sugar. we got about 1,000 grams of sugar here, and we're going to do 100 grams of corn syrup. We're going to be adding corn syrup to it and a little bit of vinegar. Uh, what that does is we're going to invert the sugar. Um, you can just buy inverted sugar. This is the long What's way to do sugar? it. Backward sugar. No surprise. Corn, so Steve, corn inverting uh, the sugar corn syrup basically. reduces the chance of crystals forming. Crystals are going to be your worst enemy during this because the okay. crystals or it make uh, sugar flaky. We I want think. it smooth so we can pull it. <laughs> we have two cups of water. Because so I've read about, about that five before. Drops He's explained it. Now, what here's you did? Yeah, very, but you were talking. Very, 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 very important part. Stirring it will create the crystal. We're looking for very smooth, very workable sugar that's still hard. And that's why we're doing an inverted technique on the top. So whatever you do, don't stir it. Dump your ingredients in the sugar and our blue Can we water. Turn that up? Just like we're gonna take this to 271 degrees and where we get to what's called the soft crack. There's, you can see it right here, there's soft crack and hard crack, uh, firm balls down here. Um, but what we want to do is we want to take it to around 269, 268, and then cut it off because it'll have a natural carryover on Steve, you were almost Ooh. there. Temperature is on. Don't touch it. Don't you want touch cooking it. time to be anywhere between Don't. 20 and 25 minutes, but just leave it be. As soon as you start working it and as soon as you start stirring it, you're introducing air, you're introducing agitation, and that is going to be crystal city. We're at about the 220 mark right now. So at this moment, this you is going to stall because a lot of the water <laughs> I can hear it, but then we get to a point where the sugar starts taking over more, and then that will the temperature will start to go back up. So we're just past that 220 mark. There's going to be little sugar crystals that are going to form on the outside, and all you want to do then is just take a uh, damp brush and then just wipe them off. This is the same so person from the videos aside. we watch. Yeah. Yeah. We watch. Oh, okay. No, this is guy is just set, doing okay? uh, He's just it's a little too hard and it's not malleable. We can pop it in the microwave one just for 10 seconds. That we're using corn corn starch. starch. This is where <laughs> kind of the hand what? technique comes You were right. So basically make a donut. Now, corn people, starch. So Steve, how does it feel? Uh, how are you feeling over there? How does it feel, Steve? Um, I'm it's very smooth. Normal? Um, this is the way I learned how to do it. So, <laughs> so how does that feel? So we have a donut now. Does it feel normal or not? Extend this yep. A bit. They're eating a bunch here. of cornstarch. This first bit is like... So is that going to change the taste of it? I think so. It's more dusty. I think you're eight. We know about that. I'm going to bring it together. There we have two noodles, right? So at this point... So that's start how you multiply it. I did not catch on to that at all. Taught me, where you're slowly what do you mean? Working it out. That they were so figure eating it. That's the how they were getting it. I thought that some the of the strands were separating. Times right. Two. Ready? Figure eight. Over. You probably could do this on the hook. Now yeah. We're four. Yeah, you could. Just yeah. Four. But this is how you do it without a hook. At home. But again, figure eight. Do you think it'd be easier with a hook? Together. Yeah. If you already know how to do the figure eight thing, sure. You're just keeping the bottom, just running through the cornstarch here. Sixteen. Ready? Boom. 32. 164. Boom. That's math. And 128. I'll 64. stop there. This is basically <laughs> ready to go. A few turns. You're showing off. I stop. know, I know. We're going to keep going stop. until yep. stop. it is like long, beautiful strands of hair. 64. Edible hair. Take this Good up. thing. 128. Now, if you notice you're losing a couple strands here and there, don't worry, just keep going. Candy pattern bulbs. Flip. I'm listening to the sugar. It's telling me how much it can stretch. I didn't know Ready? it talked. I didn't either. That was, that's the crazy thing. Maybe because we talked too much. Hey, 
8,000 strands. 8,000 8, strands right now. It's multiplying. For the grand finale, this is 16,000 strands of hand-pulled cotton candy. And if you don't believe, look at that. There's a Dumbledore. Count them. Looks like cobwebs. Dumbledore. Ooh, maybe that's what they do in the movies. Do you think that's, uh, yeah, I'm sure that's yeah. what they do. Yeah. <laughs> do you think he's accurate with how many strands? It looked to me like it was 1,500, like 998, yeah. actually. I think he dropped eggs. one. If you did say, if you did hear, he said, we're going to get salt sometimes sometimes inside the french fry. Why do we want to get salt inside Should I stop? the french fry? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't want salt on our french fries. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. But uh, Okay, cornstarch. Right. I can't believe I was right. Yeah, cornstarch. I, get... corn starch. I <laughs> thought back that, was, and forth. that would be sugar, not... Yeah. Hmm. I, that's not something... That's strange. And Steve, you were accurate kind of with the temperature. You were off by like 20. I know it had to be lower than hard candy, so... What did they say in the video? It's 270 for this, right? Yeah, two. So, yeah, 270. 268, he said he stopped 268, it. and then because it, it keeps climbing a little bit, so it yeah. makes it 270. All right, and yeah. you said like 260 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. close. Might have Pretty worked. Yeah. And you were wrong for one thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just another Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so you didn't mean to point that out. <laughs> you meant it. Yeah, I, I gave him a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Well, we'll consider making this. But you guys got to help us out here. Tell you what. First of all, if you like the video, you know, click like, thumbs yeah. up, give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. A lot of you might not realize that that helps us if you subscribe. But if you want us to make this, if we reach how many how many views do you want, do you think? 100,000. 100,000. We reach 100,000 views. We will try our hands at making this handmade cotton candy. So um, share this with your friends, relatives, your enemies, your strangers, basically anybody you can share it with without getting arrested yeah, or getting funny looks. Yeah. But yeah, share it, share it with them. And also, if you decide to try this at home yourself, <laughs> send us the video. Oh wait, I think it's said not to try it at home because your mother will kill you. Okay, well if yeah. you don't live with your mother anymore, if basically if you have your own space and, yeah. and don't hold us responsible if you burn yourself, um, yeah, and share your video on Instagram yeah. or Facebook. Yeah. yeah. That would be very interesting. We'd, we'd like to see how um, novices do. Because we're supposedly not novices, but sometimes it seems like we are anyway. <laughs> but this, that might, this looks like a fun thing to do. Okay, say goodbye, Steve. Bye, Steve. <laughs>